Hi folks, Puffin here with your Antifa News Brief for September 7, 2021. This one's about Bolsonaro, President of Brazil, and also about Facebook, and possibly about a thing called Clubhouse. About fascism and social media. About genocide. We have a very similar situation in America under Trump and in Brazil under Bolsonaro. There's a reason why Bolsonaro calls himself Trump of the Tropics and does pretty much everything that Trump did. Stands for all the same things. Homophobia, sexism, racism, uh, destruction of the environment. Bolsonaro even said that it's his cultural right to chop down the rainforest. Like we're messing with his heritage or something. Evil. His heritage is evil. His heritage is Nazi. He's a traitor to Brazil, just like Trump is a traitor to America. They're both Putin puppets. So Putin used Facebook to make these guys seem popular and get them elected. I saw that happen in America, but I don't have the investigative reports on it. I heard it happen over the BBC radio every single night for months leading up to the election of Bolsonaro. They would talk about how popular he is on Facebook groups, how popular Bolsonaro is. Against all reason, he's so popular in Brazil. And then after months of reporting on that almost every night on the BBC radio, three days before the election, they said Facebook and Twitter just removed 150,000 fake accounts supporting Bolsonaro. When you have 150,000 accounts supporting something, you can make it seem really more popular than it is. They probably have more than that supporting Trump in America. And Facebook doesn't just allow these accounts. I'm pretty sure they craft the accounts. They make the accounts. Because I've personally tracked these accounts, put a post tracking them, adding more of the accounts to that post, and Facebook hid that post from me on my own wall. So they're obviously in league with these people. That's my personal experience, but you have plenty of examples of Facebook being in league with these people and then saying after, oh, we didn't know. That's Zuckerberg. He's a total Nazi, and we need to arrest him, seize Facebook, nationalize it so every country runs their own. Stop this from ever happening again. But what's happening right now, today's news, was that Bolsonaro has passed some type of laws restricting Facebook and Twitter or whatever, or inhibiting their ability to restrict his lies. It's because apparently they've removed, I don't know much details of the story, but they said within the story that um, Bolsonaro has had his stuff removed for lying about stuff. And we know the type of stuff he would lie about, lying about the virus, lying about, you know, the same things Trump would lie about to try to spread the virus. And I think what people don't understand is these people aren't just stupid. They're not just bad. They're evil because they're trying to do this. They're playing stupid sometimes, just like Zuckerberg going, oh, I didn't know that we could affect the election. When he had already paid the uh, Israeli intelligence agency, Mossad, or the offshoot of it to, you know, scr scrub the internet of the Cambridge Analytica story. They had already paid him to do that. Then he had to pretend a year later or two years later, oh, I didn't even know this was happening. You paid to hide it. So yeah, he's totally lying. And they're in league with them. So it's kind of ironic, or it seems like, oh, you know, Trump got kicked off Twitter. You know, they can be mad at Twitter. Well, they got him elected. They've been in league with him. Zuckerberg wouldn't remove Trump's Nazi symbol campaign ad for like a week of people protesting before he archived it. It's still on there. Um, they're Nazis. And if we treat them like the Nazis that they are, we can unite the world against them. They're the last evil remaining in the world. They're all under Putin's umbrella via Facebook. It'd be real easy to shut it down. Once we seize Facebook, you've got all the records right there. But we also all watched it happen in real time. So the fact that Bolsonaro is striking back against social media or forcing them to allow him to continue perpetuating his genocidal Nazi propaganda, which shouldn't be allowed. I'm all for free speech, but Nazi propaganda, just like yelling fire in a theater, shouldn't be allowed. There should be limits and terrorist threats, which is what all these people do. I mean, Governor DeSantis shouldn't be allowed to go around threatening terrorists, threatening people by telling them they can't wear masks. Anyway, that's th what we're dealing with, and it's the same network, and it's really obvious the same network, so I feel weird being the only one talking about it for years and years and nobody else catching on yet, but hopefully you will. And the thing that, that this also reminds me of in a recent story on the news was this an app called Clubhouse, which is apparently people talking like 
on the phone, like a party chat that started off small. And now, and when the interviewer, the NPR interviewer asked him a few days ago, like September 4th, 3rd, maybe uh, 2021, asked him, you know, what are you doing about anti-Semitism or racism or these people that want to take advantage of these platforms to spread hateful propaganda? They didn't have a very direct answer, which seemed to be kind of inviting those people. Now, they also said something about it. Maybe it's an invite only service. And maybe it still is, or it used to be, but that they have 10 million users. So it seems of real concern to me, especially when you have plenty of technology. They're saying, well, you know, they didn't really have any answer to that. Like they're, that they're actively trying to stop, you know, racist or terrorist organizations from using their platform, which was concerning enough in itself. And then they said, well, we don't record this. So there's really no way to check, but you could record it. I mean, you have technology that can just translate not always very well, but it's getting better and better, translate speech to text. You could be recording just a text, you know, a transcript of what's being said, even from 10 million people. I mean, it seems like you, somebody's doing that, whether you have, whether the company that made the app has access to it or not, somebody's doing it. But like, if you actually follow up on that, the problem with this internet thing is if the only punishment is online, like can't, your account gets canceled, these trolls and these terrorists, they just make a new account. They just move on. Like if you can't actually get to the person who's doing it and give them some type of punishment or stop them from doing it somehow, they're going to continue. So we all need to get smarter about stopping terrorists. It's artificial stupidity for one thing, bots and terrorists all working together. Artificial intelligence and intelligent people can work together to stop them. So thanks for watching and see some more on my channel and I'll see you soon. Let's stop other Nazis from Trump to Bolsonaro, all around the